Welcome back, Dead Eyes and Ghost Beaters. And if you're new to the channel, I am Old Head Gaming. And one of my favorite games of all time was a little 360 game that dropped back in 2010 called Alan Wake. And for years and years, I talked about Alan Wake to the community, and they were like, mm, I didn't get a chance to play it. And then October 2021, Remedy dropped the re-release, which came out of nowhere. Like, we got a September announcement, it came out in October, we played through it all on the channel, and it's still one of my favorite games of all time. Then, at the Game Awards, they announced that the game was going to be coming in 2023, a much-anticipated sequel to Alan Wake 2, and we dropped the video. You can see the trailer here on the channel. I'll put it right, right up here in case you need it. But we haven't really heard a whole lot since then, and over the last couple of months there have been a couple of tweets here and there with cryptic teases and some very Alan Wake-esque mystery sprinkled through them. And now we are finally getting a little bit of news. Now, Summer Game Fest is right around the corner, which is kind of when I expected to hear something from Remedy and Epic on Alan Wake 2. But this just dropped from Bloody Disgusting, and I have to talk about it because, well, why wouldn't I? And it's an interview with Matthew Peretta when he was on Monsters, Madness, and Magic Podcast with Justin Young. Let's take a look at that real quick. A question was posed regarding Peretta's move into voice acting, not that Alan Wake is one of his favorite games. Peretta responded, I've been working on Alan Wake 2. That's supposed to come out in October. In October of 2023! We're in the middle of working on it now. In fact, I was just in Finland last week. That's where the company from Remedy is amazing people. Obviously, neither Remedy or Epic Games, who's helping fund the development of Alan Wake 2, have responded to what Peretta has said. When we had last heard about Alan Wake 2's development, Remedy CEO Tara Vertali stated the game is to the point of being playable from start to finish. Which does lend a bit of validity to what Perez has said, and with Summer's Game Fest right around the corner, we may get our answer soon enough. Well there, I was thinking the exact same thing, I'd only really kind of focused on the quotes. But if this is accurate, I am very much looking forward to seeing the return of Alan Wake. Alan Wake was always one of those games that had a really special place in my heart. Of course, there was Silent Hill and Resident Evil and those types of games that had really brought out a lot of awesomeness and a lot of really good horror, and I had loved the franchises for years and years, but Alan Wake was something different, and it brought us that component of how light and dark play off each other, and how light can vanquish the dark, because literally... This is exactly where we saw this initial trope now where people can use a flashlight and it defeats the power of evil. That came from Alan Wake. Like that is the first time we saw that component, that mechanic ever in a game. And it became a huge, huge thing that has gone through horror since 2010 now. Like, let's be honest, that's what most people do is we have the power of light, a flashlight, a street lamp. It doesn't matter because that is what you use to protect yourself from the forces of darkness. And Alan Wake set that up and I can't wait to see what what they do in Alan Wake 2 because the first game was so good, so twisted, such an interesting story of is he crazy, is he not crazy, is this really going on and then you find out, I'm not going to ruin the end because you still have time to play the first one before the second one comes out and if you have it I absolutely implore you to do so because I will never forget my first playthrough of Alan Wake just ending the game like this. Dumbfounded, slack jawed, couldn't believe the ending and you can experience that for yourself. Now, Alan Wake 2 will immediately jump to the top of my most anticipated list of 2023 if we do see a Games Fest confirmation that we're gonna get a release date. We just got a release date for Mortal Kombat, so it wouldn't surprise me if we do see that October date come out as games are really starting to gear up for the fall now. And all I can say is Alan Wake 2 is coming, baby. Are you as excited as I am? Let me know in the comments below. Do you not give a shit? Or you're like, yes, old head, Alan Wake is awesome. Of course, we'll be playing through the game on the channel, so you're gonna get a complete walkthrough if you need it. But as far as I'm concerned, this is one of the best news I could have got to start the morning. As always, thanks for watching. Later, mates.